Hi everyone. So in this question we're trying to figure out the number of pathways to, uh, to go through this network here to going from A to B. Always moving towards our goal. Okay, you can't go backwards here. Now, a question like this actually could have been worded in a different way. We, what we could have done here is we could have given you uh, a larger network, okay, and asked you or, or told you specifically that you have to go through the point C. Okay, and if we had done that, we would do the same thing here because all of this stuff up here would be irrelevant, so would all of it down here because you're not allowed to backtrack. And because we're not allowing you to backtrack here, uh, you could never get over here and then still go through C. You could never get down here and yet still go through C. So th this is basically what that question would reduce down to. A uh, path that goes from A to C and from C to B. Now, let's just, let's just uh, kind of talk that through. Any path that does this has to go from A to C and and it's important that I, the word and is in there, and C to B. Because and, in mathematical applications, and most of what we're going to be doing here, implies multiplication. So to go from A to C, like I did in a previous question, I'm just going to count out the number of times I have to go east and the number of times I have to go south. In this case, that's east, east, south, south. So I've got, to go from A to C, I've got four different blocks that I'm going to travel over here. Two of them are east, two of them are south. Whoops, I, didn't, I wanted to write south there when I really should have put a factorial. Okay, so that's my first trip from A to C. Now my second trip from C to B, I'll count that out by going along the outside, and that'll be east, 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 south, south. And in this case here, I have got five different blocks that I cross, but three of them are east, two of them are south. So it's five factorial over three factorial 2 factorial. Okay, and again, there are other ways that we can do this. Uh, I know some of you have probably seen uh, Pascal's triangle that works just fine. Uh, you could do combinations here and then just multiply them. Okay, for example here, and it's probably not a bad bad thing to do here. This one right here, I've got four blocks that I got to cover. I got to choose two of them to be east. Multiply that by five blocks that I got to cover. Choose three of them, for example, to be going east. Or this could be 4 choose 2 times 5 choose 2 as well here because I could also be thinking about this as choosing uh, two of those line segments to be going south. Any of these three would get you the same answer.